How are your house plans going? Good. We found this great company. They do steel frame homes. Ooh, um, tell me why that really appeals to you. Well, you know what we went through in the bushfires and I just want to have peace of mind that we've got a steel home that won't burn down. Yeah, look, that's a really common reaction to the bushfires and I can see why that would be a big concern. But, you know, as an architect who's worked on a lot of homes in bushfire prone areas, the focus is really about ember proofing. So making sure the materials on the outside of your home aren't flammable and making sure that you're screening all the gaps and joints. If you're getting to the point where the fire is getting inside your walls and hitting the structure, honestly, I think you've got bigger fish to fry by then. And by the time you're at that level of heat, your steel frame is really susceptible to warping and then it can be condemned and has to be rebuilt anyway. Oh, that's a pity. Here I was thinking it would just bring us so much peace of mind that it was just a strong, robust structure. Do you think your peace of mind will be affected if it's going tick, tick, tick every morning as it warms up? Oh, wow. What about termites? Dave was really drawn to the fact that the termites wouldn't eat the frame. Yeah, of course, uh, termites don't eat steel, but you know all the houses around here are built from treated timber anyway. Wow, it's not the silver bullet I thought it was. Yeah, look, that's not even actually the main reason why I think it's inappropriate. We're in a cool climate down here and steel is so highly conductive. So you're putting a conductive material every 60 centimetres in your wall. So the warmth is going to leak out in winter and it's going to leak in in summer. Now, they'll tell you that they're going to add an insulative strip onto that steel that's a thermal break that stops that happening, but it really doesn't compare to the effectiveness of a standard timber wall with insulation. And actually, you know how I bang on about condensation all the time? So when you've got a steel frame home, you've got that moist, warm air migrating out of the house. And if it hits a cool steel surface before it's had a chance to migrate out that permeable membrane or sarking, there's a really good chance that it's going to condense on the steel and you might end up with moisture and mould inside your walls that you can't see. And yeah, there's ways to detail around it and change the materials, but for the effort you have to go to to get it working as well as a standard timber insulated wall, I just don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's the right material for this climate. Wow, that actually sounds like a really big question mark. And all of that is before you've considered that steel has a way bigger embodied carbon footprint than timber. Yeah, and we were really trying to get the energy efficiency stuff right. Sorry to burst your bubble. No, not at all. I'm so glad you told me.